I'm Ealing Central Library, so I'm speaking a little bit softer than normal. Following the demands of the Race Equality Commission published earlier this year, we're pleased to announce the formation of our first Citizens' Tribunal. The Tribunal was set up to review the Council's progress in delivering the demands of the Commission and review and ensure we meet them. We're delighted to introduce Denise Charles as Chair of the Tribunal. She's worked closely with the Ealing Equality Commission already and the charity Descendant. I love the fact that everybody's independent, uh, live in the Ealing Borough, know what's going on in the Ealing Borough and also want to be part of that solution. What's inspired me to work with the Citizen Tribunal is to be part of the solution, ensuring that there is fairness for everybody within the Ealing Borough. We want to go out of this community as well and get people to give us their ideas, give us their thoughts, give us their concerns. This is not a tick box exercise. If it was a tick box exercise, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't want to be part of that. I'm here to ensure that the people of Ealing, their voices are heard and that if they have concerns, that they're addressed and that we are actioning those to ensure that it was a fair borough for everybody. So we're going to have some set dates for online meetings. Those will be advertised. People need to attend those, give their voices, let their voices be heard. And for each different meeting, we're going to have some key stakeholders there so that then you can ask your questions direct. The tribunal has been set up directly to tackle inequalities and structural inequalities that blight far too many families and members of our community. The demands range from health reform, education, crime, housing, jobs, policing and much more. There remain some really deep-rooted inequalities in our borough that hold too many people back from reaching their dreams and aspirations. The Citizens' Tribunal has been designed to be fully independent, to ensure that we remain accountable and to hold us and others to the promises that we've made to do something about it. The Tribunal will hold open and regular online meetings, which everyone can attend, participate in and share their views. So please watch this space.